All right, for the last three or four years, I can find rattlesnakes in this area almost every time I go, especially in the spring and in the fall. And there was one here yesterday, and there were some young ones, babies, and I didn't have my camera with me, so I'm going back now, and I'm gonna see if we can find it. So we're gonna, you're gonna walk in here with me. I'm gonna try to video and keep an eye on where I'm stepping and see if, we, see if they're there. I think it's a nursery or a, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it, a um, a den, where they den and... I'm really watching where I'm walking, so... Not much. Yeah, I do see one. I saw movement, yeah, I see his head. Right where he was yesterday. Look right there, that's his head. See his head? And we'll see if I can get him to come out. to come out. There he comes. Oh gosh. That thing's huge. He wants this thing. He thinks it's food. That's crazy. But he's still coming. Now he's sensing me. He's not happy. I think he thought it was a rat at first. Oh. Yep. I'm not going to mess with him. But wasn't that something else? He thought this stick, I was vibrating it or kind of rubbing across the leaves. And I think he thought it was like a rat or a bird, and he's hungry. Timber rattler, good size one, not, not the biggest I've ever seen. Look at it, I just shake this a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to watch him and video. It ain't easy. Now he's going back in. Oh, no he's not. He decided he's gonna come back out. He's got about eight or nine rattles. All right. Man. Something else. I'd say about four feet long. I mean, he's not the largest I've ever seen. But he's a good one. I see him in here all the time. All righty.